Did you know the sun will eat the earth? Sounds dramatic, but it's true. One day, our sun will grow so large, it could swallow Mercury, Venus, and likely even the earth. But why does the sun appear so small now, and what could trigger the process that does something like that ever happen? It all starts in a cold cloud of gas and dust. Gravity pulls the material together, and as it collapses, it heats up. Eventually, the pressure in the core gets so intense that hydrogen atoms fuse into helium. This nuclear fusion is what powers the sun, and every star like it. For billions of years, fusion pushes outward, balancing the inward pull of gravity. It's a perfect cosmic standoff. But eventually, about 5 billion years from now, the sun will run out of hydrogen fuel. When that happens, the balance breaks. The core contracts and heats up, while the outer layers expand. The sun will become a red giant, growing so enormous it could engulf the orbits of Mercury and Venus, and Earth might be next. If our planet isn't swallowed, it will be scorched beyond recognition. But after this, something beautiful will happen. The sun will shed its outer layers into space, creating a glowing shell of gas called a planetary nebula. What remains at the center is a compacted version of the sun's core, a white dwarf. It's about the size of Earth but with half the current sun's mass, glowing faintly for billions more years as it slowly cools. This is the life cycle of a star like our sun, but stars with a different mass than the Earth will go through a completely different evolution cycle and end up as a supernova, leaving only a black hole or neutron star behind. Where do you think humanity will be by the time this happens? Will humanity even still exist, or will it be a multiplanetary species, roaming around in the universe? Let me know in the comments. Only time will tell. But none of us will be around to experience it, so for now we just have to ask questions such as, 